Hello everyone and welcome back to TNJ Adventures. Today I'm going to show you how I built this sim rig and of course this is only one um, video of a series of videos regarding this sim rig. I have some other plans for it but in the first video I'm going to show you just the assembly of the wood parts that I cut and measured and whatever um, and I did all this sim rig. And you will see that it's got some inverted pedals. The steering wheel, the Logitech G25 mounted into this rig. And the shifter on this side. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and comment if you wanna see this series of videos. So as you can see, this is the sim rig. I've got a Subaru Justy driver seat. As you can see, got rear adjustment, height adjustment, and also forward or backward adjustment. Also, the steering wheel is mounted on this table. That's securely mounted with two posts. You can see the whole thing is pretty sturdy. I created this table like this because I wanted to be able to quickly adjust it so I can just unscrew these four screws. I've got four screws on both sides, so two on each, and I can adjust the angle of the steering wheel from here. Maybe later I'm going to add some more holes um, so that I can have different angles and positions of the steering wheel, but for now that's what I've got. Also the pedals, you will see, they've also got some adjustments, so right there, you will see there are three holes, I can move the pedals forward or backwards, and as I told you, the pedals are inverted, so originally they were mounted on the ground like this, and you would push like that, so they would be floor mounted but I wanted to have them as close uh, to a real car and usually in, in real cars pedals are top mounted sometimes acceleration pedal is floor mounted but most of the times I would say pedals are like this this is also pretty sturdy and this is the foot rest right here uh, and I still have to cut parts of this, like these sides I need to cut and maybe I will build some footrest also on the sides when I play a Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator um, I don't need to move my legs so much on the pedals so I can just relax them so as I told you the seat is adjustable you've got the rear adjustment from here height adjustment from here and position from here I had to carve this wood a little bit so that my hand fits in here and the seat is securely mounted this is the G25 steering wheel that I have. This is also securely mounted with two screws from the back. So although I'm still using the clamps that it usually comes with, so it's got some clamps um, on this table like that. There are two screws coming from underneath and going through the table, which are securing the steering wheel much, much, much better than how these clamps would do on the table just alone and then kind of the same with the shifter 
you can see how sturdy it is um, I've got the clamps here but also on this one I've got two screws coming from underneath and screwing into the housing and both the steering wheel and the shifter have some metal plates inside that have uh, threads and the screws go into that metal uh, plates so the base of both the steering wheel and the shifter are metal and you screw into that base so these clamps only um, catch the plastic and the housing but the screws go into the frame of the steering wheel or shifter then I've got this monitor right here of course later I might update the computer and not have the laptop here anymore because right now it's not that comfortable to have the laptop as you can see I improvised um, something to put the laptop onto but yeah this is how the steam rig looks like So this is the frame that I built right now. Um, you will see that this is the seat area. So the seat mounts in these brackets. I still have to recess part of this wood because I need some more space for the height adjustment and the back seat adjustment. And after that we have to start building the front of the rig, which will be the wheel support and uh, pedals support but first I'm going to mount the seat and see how it looks and how it works and then I'm going to continue working on this So right now we have to start working on this upper support. So this will be the part where the steering wheel mounts to. And the way I thought about this is like this. I have these smaller wood pieces, so they're not as wide. And I'm gonna create sort of a table like that inside here. So probably two of these next to each other with some of these um, wood pieces mounted on the sides like that and maybe a frame underneath this table so that the, um, all the mounting can go into that frame and not onto these smaller pieces and of course I want to be able to modify the orientation of the table and for that I'm going to have to put two mounting positions because I only want one for racing and one for simulation like one for racing for games like Dirt Rally and Project Cars and stuff like that where you have to have the steering wheel kind of straight towards you and then one for Euro Truck Simulation and um, American Truck Simulation and stuff like that where the steering wheel is going to be a little bit more tilted so it's going to be um, a bit more upwards so the way I thought about that as I told you with that frame I'm going to make some holes in these wood posts and 
through those holes I'm going to put some screws these screws so that they can tighten them by hand and inside of the frame from that table I'm going to insert these nuts that as you can see they um, go inside the hole and then with that frame I'm going to have the nut like this in the frame actually it's like this and the screw coming through this wood and screwing inside this nut and that way I can lock the table to the posts but also it's pretty easy to take them apart and move it if necessary that's kind of the same logic that I'm going to use to mount the pedals to the rest of the rig but for that I'm going to use uh, these kind of screws normal ones with the same nuts I believe they are M8 um, so metric 8 and I chose to go with normal screws because I don't want to have to move the pedals so much so I'm probably going to have two positions for the pedals but probably I'm only going to use one so um, that's why if sometimes I am going to need to move the pedals um, I can unscrew these with a hex tool but for the upper part I want to be able to switch faster between the two game types so that's what we're going to do right now Okay, so as you can see, right now I have this system made in such a way that I can mount it this way with the table on this side, but I can also rotate and mount it the other way with the table. So you can see these screws with the ends that I can rotate by hand so that I can take it out and put it back in really fast. So this is the table, let's say it's pretty sturdy because I still have to do something here um, like a spacer or something so that I can tighten it properly but we'll see what solution we find for that.
So I hope you enjoyed this first part of the sim rig build. If you want to see more of this, please subscribe so that you will get the next videos. See you in part 2.